We're here for a typical sub base inspection, but prior to coming out on site, there's a couple of boxes that need to be ticked. One of those is the compaction test results need to have been sent through to the inspector and ensure that they're to standard, and also that the construction engineers needs to have been on site, inspected it, strung it, and load tested it to ensure that it is uh, to standard. Once we come on site, the first thing we do is we actually check for the depth to ensure that the depth's as per design. So we've set up the string line here, and if we come over and look at the markings, this indicates 0.5 above top of curb, indicates that that's offset 500 above. The curb, which is a curb, a B2 curb for this particular site, is 300 mil. So we'll be testing for an 800 mil down to the pavement. We just need to be mindful also that this is a meter offset behind the back of the curb, which is a meter's approximately there, and 450 to the lipper curb. So we've marked it on our string line, 1450 from the offset peg, which is about where the lip of the curb will be. So we come in here with our tape measure. We measure down and we're looking for our 800 mil, which if we look at the tape there, the guys have presented this sub base pretty much spot on. So, um, so that's really good. So from there, we would go along and check the, uh, the pavement, to make sure that it's consistent with that 800 mil that we're looking for. And the final test we do is, as per other pavement courses, is we do a load test at the end, and we're looking for any soft spots. The load test we're going to conduct today is, is with a fully loaded rigid. Uh, we've got two inspectors today, one on the uh, curb side of the pavement and one out in the crown. As per other pavement proof rolls, which is we have one at the sub base prior to curb placement, and then we have the final one when the base course is placed, we need to ensure that there are no soft spots.